This is Don Downey from Forest Metrics. This is the first in a short series of videos designed to orient new users and later uh, experienced users on how to use Forest Metrics. First thing we're going to do before we get too deep into Forest Metrics is I just want to show a couple things about uh, iPad and iPhone settings that will uh, be handy to know about as you're using Forest Metrics. So on the right, you see we're working with an iPhone and on the left, an iPad. I'm going to try and do these things concurrently so users of both platforms can follow along. So first, I'm just going to close these templates and I am going to return to the home of our, uh, of our devices and I'm going to go into our device settings. There are two things that uh, that relate to force metrics. One is it's generally a good idea to turn airplane airplane mode on when you're in the field. Uh, you will still have your GPS signal, um, but the device will save a lot of battery by not continually looking for or communicating with the cellular network. The display and brightness, you'll see that setting on the left hand side. Um, there are a couple things that you want to do here. One is where it says auto lock. For the purposes of running the analysis, I would set that to never. Okay, this means that the screen is not going to automatically shut down after two minutes of inactivity. With forest metrics, if you have a large cruise, once you get above several hundred trees, it will take a couple minutes to run the analysis and sometimes create the reports. So if the device goes to sleep, that process stops. So you want to set auto lock to never. There are two other things while we're here. Um, I, you'll see the default settings on these devices. Things are a little bit thin. It's a little hard to see. So I'm going to change both of them to bold text, which you'll see in the field. This does help quite a bit. And I'm also going to make the default text size a little bit bigger. So on each of these, I'm making it a little bit bigger and easier to read. To use forest metrics, it runs in FileMaker Go. Whether you're working with FileMaker 18 or 19, you will locate that at first. And provided all uh, files are closed, um, when you open up FileMaker, you're going to see a list of all the files that exist on your phone or on your device. Now, first thing I like to do, by default, um, the FileMaker shows the icons in a grid. Hit this icon and turn it into a list view. And you will also see uh, when you first install FileMaker, there are a couple default apps or rather just uh, sample apps. One is called invoices, uh, might, might be contacts. There are four different files that you can just delete. And in order to delete a, uh, a file from the device, you can take your finger and swipe from right to left across the file name. And when you do that, this delete icon will show and I can delete a file. I'm not gonna do it on the iPad because the only file I have here is Forest Metrics Pro. Let's open up our Forest Metrics Pro template and now we are at the home screen. So when you're starting off with a new project, this is where you will begin.